Tiffany. Hi, I'm Jason. Cooking a great meal is one of our favorite things to do, especially during the holidays. Right now, our kitchen is not up to where we need it to be. Between the outdated appliances and the lack of organization, so one of our favorite hobbies honestly feels more like a chore. It's almost like we have a fantasy of what it's going to be like to cook in our kitchen. But in reality, it's more like this. Half of these are burnt. <sighs> no. No. Our kitchen needs some help. So we're gonna do something about it. We're gonna tackle six DIY projects to make this space perfect for us. Let's get started. Problem, our appliances are old and they just don't work for us anymore. Solution, brand new KitchenAid appliances, yes! The most important part of any chef's kitchen is having the right appliances. We're replacing our dated refrigerator, range, microwave, and dishwasher with brand new ones that will allow us to cook and clean so much better. Problem. Our spray feature is broken in our faucet and it's not even tall enough to fill the big pots. Solution. Install a big old pre-rinse faucet. Yeah, so the faucet that we're going to be replacing this with has a much longer neck, much more functional for what we need to do and uh, how we like to work in the kitchen. So the first thing I did was shut off the water valve in the basement. What I have here is a basin wrench. I'm going to use this to disconnect the nut that holds the faucet to the top of the countertop. From there, I will disconnect the water lines and install the new faucet. What I'm going to do now is just pull out the top of the faucet. So, just got done installing the new faucet. All right, so the water line's now reconnected. Let's see if this works. Yep. Wow. This will be much better for what we're looking to do. So if the sink is full, use pots right here on the side of the sink to fill. It's got a lot of flexibility and function for what we need. This is a game changer. Problem. The cabinet where we keep our pots and pans is completely disorganized. Solution, DIY pot rack. We seriously need a better solution for our pots and pan storage, and this is it. Here I have a galvanized pipe, two phalanges, and two elbows. Actually, I got four here. <laughs> I spray painted it to give it a bit more of a finished look and to tie it in with our countertops. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to screw in the elbow and the phalanges. I wanna make sure that both of my phalanges are facing the same direction so that they can go on the wall. All right, nice and snug. So this part's finished and now I'm just gonna attach my pots with the simple S hooks. So this should be pretty simple. Uh, Jason, did you find studs on the outside? So we have studs on the outside here. Uh, I don't think they're gonna reach the inside holes, so we'll use anchors there to make sure it's secure. All right, what do you think? It looks great. I love it, it looks yeah. amazing. Problem, we need to free up more counter space to prep meals. Solution, we're going to install a KitchenAid stand mixer shelf. So we use this mixer all the time. But as you can see, we just don't have much counter space. Now that we freed up all this space with the pots and pans and move them to the wall, we're gonna install a slide out shelf for the KitchenAid mixer to go on. So that will free up counter space and give us easy access to the mixer. To build this shelf, we need to add some supports on either side of the cabinet to hold the weight of the mixer and custom cut a shelf for the mixer to sit on. We're using one by six lumber, cutting it to 22 and a half inches. That's the depth of the inside of the cabinet. We'll secure the brackets to each support, then secure each support to the upper inside of the cabinet. For our actual shelf, we're going to use a teak project panel we picked up at Lowe's. We're cutting it to size and securing it to the brackets. Now we have more space over here. I love it, it's amazing. And then when we're done with it, we can simply unplug it and we just uh, put it right back underneath the counter. Problem, we don't have a great place to store our baking sheets. 
Solution, we're gonna build ourselves some toe kick drawers. Underneath the cabinets, there's the toe kick area, and there's enough space in there that we could create drawers and put baking sheets and other items like that in there. So it's a great solution for unused space and for more storage. It's a pretty simple process to create a drawer if you know your way around some power tools. We're ripping down half inch plywood to create our drawer sides and bottom, gluing and nailing it together. Then we're taking one by four pine to create a cradle which attaches to the inside of cabinet and outside of the drawer utilizing full extension drawer slides. Smooth. Then for the face of the drawer, we're using the actual toe kick from the existing cabinets, cutting it, attaching it, and adding a handle that complements the current cabinet hardware. This really is a creative way to take advantage of unused space that most people would never even think of. Problem. The counters under our cabinets are too dark. Solution, under cabinet lighting. This project is very homeowner friendly. Installing under cabinet lighting used to require a decent amount of electrical work, but now you can get lights that are wireless and remote controlled, and they're quite affordable too. All you need to do is stick them under your cabinets wherever you need a little extra light in your life. I'm so excited to have appliances that actually work and that I can bake my cookies and they're gonna be evenly baked and I can use the microwave now. Not to mention the refrigerator, everything didn't come out at sub-zero frozen temperatures. Yes. Dishwasher now, it's so nice to only have to run at one time. And this faucet is a total game changer, guys. Oh my gosh, I can actually use my big pots and fill them up. So my favorite, this little project over here, the toe kick drawers. You can't even see them right now. No, we have all the space now, the utilities we need. We can finally cook the way we always want it to. It doesn't feel like a chore anymore. It's gonna be perfect for the holidays. And the awesome thing, we did it all ourselves. We did. High Great five. Job. <laughs>